What's up everybody, Ramey here, and today we're talking about your pin and pipe set. Um, how do you protect your barbell? Because when this thing is on your rack and your barbell, it's, this is literally a piece of metal and you can see there's all kinds of scrapes on here. This will very easily scratch your barbell. Now normally I want to say, hey, it's a barbell, it's meant to be scratched, this is gym equipment, don't worry about it, but we all know some of y'all spent, including myself, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred plus dollars on a barbell and if you can avoid it being scratched you might as well do it. So let me talk about some options and some of the things that you can do to protect your barbell. Um, when you, because if you're using pin and pipes like I do, I pre much prefer pin and pipes. Obviously a solution is don't use pin and pipes, use safety straps or uh, safety spotter arms or flip in safeties, but I am a huge fan of pin and pipes and some of y'all use them for pin press um, I do a version of the floor press on my rack with when I do bench So I'm touching these a lot and I don't want to bang up my barbells There's a bunch of things that you can do the easiest one obviously is don't touch it But you know even sometimes like I just rest my bar on my pin and pipes I trust pin and pipes more than anything. So I want to protect my bar now what I do is I have a piece of plastic piping. You can see behind me on my pin and pipe set, I have a piece of plastic right over my pin and pipe that protects my bar. Let me show you. My pipe, pin goes right over it. Boom, super easy. And that's it, that's how you protect them. Now when you get this, now this is actually a repurposed piece of my shop vac that I was gonna have to store and I said, hey, this will fit on my pin and pipes, I bet. And it's like the perfect size and voila, it did. And now I can use it for my vac, my shop vac and I put it on my pin and pipes and it doesn't matter if it gets all nicked up, it's a piece of plastic. Um, but you might not have your shop vac or using it for other things or whatever. Um, so what can you do? Simple, go to Lowe's, Home Depot, piece of PVC. Piece of PVC piping, measure it, measure your pin and pipes, measure the PVC piping. You can solve PVC piping with a regular hand saw, super easy, really any kind of saw will cut it. Um, and, or you can even have the store do it and voila, you have a cover for your pin and pipes and that's probably the best option in my opinion. Um, I just happen to have this laying around so I decided to use it. Um, but I think that the PVC piping is the best option. One other thing that a lot of people do, um, you can find some kind of foam. Some people take pool noodles and put that on. I personally wouldn't like the look of that um, and don't think it functions as well. I think it might, might help, but I think like if you slam your bar on a pool noodle, I don't think it's probably gonna be thick enough to really help. Maybe it will be depending on how much weight you have on. Uh, but I wouldn't like the look of that and pool no noodles are like yellow and green and purple and I guess that could be cool, but I don't, I'm not a fan of the pool noodle look. So I would much prefer you get a piece of PVC plastic, um, Lowe's or Home Depot. It's going to be really inexpensive. And there you go. You got a protection for your pin and pipe set. So I hope you enjoyed. Later, all.